Hello everyone, my name is John Leela and I graduated from Barry Goldwater High School in 2014, having completed the International Baccalaureate program during my time there. I was asked to put together a short video talking about my experience in the International Baccalaureate program. There is a lot I could say and there may be things that I miss. So I asked a couple of my good friends to share some thoughts themselves about the IB program to help me put together a video for you guys to kind of get an understanding and a student perspective of what to expect in the coming years. Hi, my name is Zaid Swice. I graduated from Barry Goldwater in 2014 and I completed the IB diploma program while I was there. I've since went on to complete my bachelor's and master's degrees in mechanical engineering at the University of Arizona and I'm now working full-time as an engineer in guidance navigation and control systems. I think my experience transitioning into college and the workforce would have been very different without the IB program. Not directly because of the recognition and the credits and the things you put on paper, but the way it taught me to look at my own learning process. The extra effort that IB required definitely made the workload in college and at work much more manageable, but there are a few things about IB that even now stand out as a huge benefit for me. The focus, I feel, is far more on understanding the fundamentals and building knowledge from there than it is on remembering the facts. As an example, in college engineering courses, you're allowed cheat sheets on exams because it doesn't matter whether or not you memorize the formulas if you don't know what they mean and when to use them. For me, IB really emphasized the difference between knowing the information and understanding the first principles. In fact, my coworkers and I put a huge emphasis on solving problems by going back to what's called engineering first principles. On top of that, the way the exams and projects are structured is also a really good opportunity to choose where you want your effort to go. Things like internal assessments, the group four project, the extended essay, allow you to investigate a subject in any direction you want, within reason. If you want to research a particular event for History IA, you can do so. If you've always been fascinated by electromagnetic signals, you can design an experiment around it. The arts IA is really interesting. The extended essay is an, is an extended study on almost any subject or topic you want. It really, really encourages you and expects you to do the work and explore a topic that you want to explore to develop a really good understanding of it. Even then, the courses are still entertaining. On top of that, the IB teachers I had were top, top quality, better than a lot of my college professors, to be honest. I definitely see moments in my day-to-day -day life now where I can tell that my thought process or some method I used can be traced back to my time in the IB program. At the end of the day, I think I really would say the extra work I put into it back in high school has definitely paid off in my academic and professional career nowadays. I hope you guys uh, decide to join the IB program. I would think it's great and it's going to be beneficial. Beyond that, good luck with high school. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Dejan Ogleperipovic. I graduated from the IB program in 2014. I just wanted to give you like a brief overview of how it's affected my life, the kind of impact that it's had on me. Um, so it's not just a simple, you know, two-year program in comparison to AP. What it did to me is it instilled a kind of a mindset. It's, it's sort of like a paced progressive methodology of thinking, of analyzing problems, of coming up with solutions. And I'm currently a practicing pharmacist and I'd definitely be a worse pharmacist without IB. Um, without IB, my line of thinking would be if A, if not A, then B, if not B, then C, and eventually I would run out of solutions for my patient. With IB, I'm able to come up with creative solutions to whatever the situation might be. I'm not necessarily confined within this linear thinking, I can kind of take the situation and use the knowledge that I have and be creative to find the, the treatment that might work best for my patient. IB does not, under any circumstance, consume all of your life. I definitely participated in sports. I had a job. I was able to spend time with friends. IB is really about putting yourself in that environment around other people who want to adapt to that kind of you know, creative thinking or that expansive thinking that goes outside of the box, not just the simple textbook ins and outs, um, but kind of moving beyond that, moving off the page and seeing how it affects the rest of your life. So I would definitely recommend it. So 
Having listened to my two good friends, Saeed and Dayan, talk about the International Baccalaureate program and their experiences, I hope that there isn't much more I could add to convince you guys to join the uh, IB program. Honestly, it's probably the best decision that I made that had the longest impact and the largest effect on my life, my academic career, and how I uh, handle interactions with people around me. The question that I get asked the most is, what's the difference between IB and AP? And the difference is actually pretty clear. AP courses present information in silos, meaning that information that you learn in AP English, for example, isn't related at all to information that you learn in AP World History. On the other hand, courses in the IB program are interconnected. Allow me to give you an example. One of my favorite courses that I took in the IB program was 20th Century History. In that class, we talked about how communist countries would censor books and information that they disagreed with. Then in IB English, we actually read one of those books and had to write an essay about it and even had a class discussion. And then in a class only offered in the IB program called Theory of Knowledge, we talked about the implications of censoring information and whether the government should be doing that. As you can see, courses in the IB program are designed to work together to provide the student a collaborative and cohesive educational experience. All right, so in conclusion, I want to provide you three reasons why we believe you should join the IB program. One, while you're in the IB program, you will feel like you are learning about different pieces of the same puzzle. Two, the IB program teaches you how to learn first principles and provides you plenty of opportunities in the form of projects of the students choosing to implement them. And three, and probably most importantly, the IB program teaches you to have critical and creative thinking that will prove essential in real world application. Thank you guys for giving us an opportunity to talk to you about our experiences in the IB program. We hope that the decision to join the IB program has been made much easier. Have a great day.